First at six, an update to a story we've been following for some time here on WCNC Charlotte. It's been more than a year and a half since we've seen scenes like this. A homeless camp filled with hundreds of people. In February 2021, Mecklenburg County leaders ordered the tent city site to close and for the people in it to leave. It was because of a rat infestation. At the time, the county provided temporary housing for those people using FEMA money. Now keep in mind that money only lasted through September of last year. So here we are nearly a year later after that funding expired and we are asking, where are those folks now? Well, Mecklenburg County tells us 90 are unsheltered, they're in a shelter or they are on the streets. 87 people have gone into permanent housing and eight are in transitional housing. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson is learning even some of those who found permanent housing could soon be on the streets once again. About two years ago, thousands of people drove past dozens of tents near Uptown, many wondering when it would be cleaned up and cleared out. and encampment is gone. Some are still homeless, but a lot of people have moved into permanent housing. Among the debris and rat infestation for over a year, Mr. Charles McIlwain lived in Tent City. Feeling less than, hoping that nobody see me, uh, dirty clothes. Once living in inhumane conditions, now with a roof over his head. I don't leave my my peace zone is what I call it. So I, I'm very grateful. The housing collaborative helped house about 60 people from Tent City, including McKill Wayne. We began to um, recruit landlords. The nonprofit offers financial incentives and assistance to landlords. They help pay application fees, security deposits, and rental assistance with the goal of helping people who are trying to start over. We, we come over, we overcome barriers of people when they have some challenging backgrounds, and we kind of push past that because we have conversations about giving people another opportunity. But another opportunity for a place to live could be on the line for some of the folks from Tent City. I'm working with landlords to be able Harry to Mack is the director of housing partnerships with the Housing Collaborative. He says while they've helped house dozens of people from this encampment, some of the leases are expiring and need to be renewed. We really need um, the, the property providers, the landlords, to be able to come on board. And as new apartment buildings pop up across Charlotte, he says all it takes is just one landlord offering one unit to help someone who needs it. And again, there's a big need for landlords to house these people who were in the encampment. If you're interested, we're going to put that information on our WCNC mobile app. Reporting outside of Uptown for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.